The Gulf of Mexico experienced one of the most catastrophic and environmentally devastating subsea oil spills known to man. With pressure from governmental agencies as well as the general public, tensions grew as a multitude of unsuccessful attempts were made to shut down the well. Being from Houston, the situation sparked my interest and I worked tirelessly to find a viable solution. My proposed solution is a subsea wellhead capping device. This device has the ability to separate the three phases of the water, oil, and gas into homogeneous phases at the source with efforts to recycle the oil and gas phases. I conducted simulations on modeling software by testing the entire spectrum of the collection, separation, and transportation of the three phases as homogeneous phases into a surface vessel. As the phases enter through the inlet rods, or immediately heated nitrogen is injected through perforated tubing. The heated nitrogen heats up the device around 60 degrees Fahrenheit and prevents the formation of methane hydrates. From there, based off of densities, the gas phase rises and exits through the gas outlet, whereas the oil and water phase enter a baffle chamber, and once again, based off of the densities, the water sinks and the oil rises. From here, through marine flex hose tubing, the phases are taken and transported up to a surface vessel where they're then contained. The device contains temperature, density, and pressure sensors located all throughout, and the goal of the sensors is to monitor the interface and make sure that the phases are being separated into homogeneous mixtures. The novel device has the potential to enable a company or a country to contain a spill at the source while also preventing an environmental disaster. As our society's technological capabilities increase, as does the potential for human error, by achieving laminar flow and steady state operation, this device provides a viable solution to solve this critical problem. Ultimately, it is not a matter of if an oil spill will occur, but a matter of when.